What if artificial intelligence could predict when someone's about to die? I'm seeing that there's a chart watch alert for the patient in the room down the hall saying that they're at high risk of having a deterioration. Dr. Amal Verma helped develop that early warning system. It monitors all the changes in a patient's medical record to spot signs of danger. So a patient's vital signs, their heart rate, their blood pressure. Healthcare workers at this Toronto hospital are using the technology to find out fast when patients are suddenly getting sicker. Is this his monitor here? This longtime nurse says it flagged one patient's early blood work results, showing an animal bite had quietly caused a potentially life threatening infection. White count was way above what it normally is, and so we were able to then um, address that right away. A new study in the Canadian Medical Association Journal shows the tool led to a striking 26% drop in the number of unexpected patient deaths. We're glad to see that we're saving lives. The researchers say the system helps staff provide treatment sooner and also palliative care when patients are beyond saving. It's not a replacement for clinical care or staff, but acts like another pair of eyes as hospitals face high levels of burnout and staff shortages. And that's saving a lot of time, it's easing a lot of stress. And we're hoping more and more of these solutions will be able to be deployed. Healthcare AI tools are getting a lot of buzz. Some research teams say machine learning can detect cancer earlier or speed up drug discovery, but the bold promises don't always pan out. It's important to, to know that in, in healthcare, we need to develop AI tools carefully. Experts say what's exciting about the Toronto research is that it's helping real patients right now. I thought this paper was a really interesting real world study of trying modern predictive artificial intelligence techniques. The team now wants to replicate their results elsewhere in hopes of bringing this new AI technology outside the walls of this hospital to help more patients across the country. Lauren Pelly, CBC News, Toronto.